It's Inside Pac-12 Football, the digital edition. I'm Mike Am, Matt Liner, Curtis Conway. Matt, you have given a lot of props to Stanford because they win doing what they do, and that's run the football. Because after that loss that they had in week one against Northwestern, I remember seeing you run up and down uh, <laughs> the, the, the hallways here at the Pac-12 Network saying, why don't they run the football? Stanford's got to <laughs> <Stanford's laughs> just handle business, and yet that's exactly what we're seeing. How do they avoid an upset against you? Yeah, I'm do what they do. They're back to playing <laughs> Stanford story, football. I love it. It. You know, a lot of people, they love the quarterback and throwing the ball all over the yard, and I get that. But I love the way Stanford is playing football. They're going back to running the ball 40-plus times a game and throwing the ball on play action when they need to. Kristen McCaffrey in the backfield has been dynamic running the football. I'm going to tell you guys, when I'm watching Stanford now, the thing I love about Stanford is watching them. They're basically saying, look, guys, we're running right here <laughs> to this hole. Can you stop us? I love it. Then no one has been able to stop them. Washington has a pretty good defense, though, Matt. Yeah. It's going to be a challenge for them this week, though, with that Stanford offense. No, Washington's defense is good, and it's surprising because all the guys they lost a year ago, my concern is I think Washington's defense – will do enough in this game to get the ball back for them. They're not going to stop Stanford's offense. They're rolling right now, um, but they're going to need to get a turnover at some point in this football game. My concern is Washington's offense. This is not a powerhouse offense. They're not an offense that's built to score a lot of points. What I want to see from this game is, is much like when Washington played USC a few weeks ago, they scored on the trick play. They got to find different ways in this football game to generate points. Kickoff return, punt return, block punt, something in the special teams game or it is going to be a long four quarters for Washington. <laughs> uh, you know, guy, I love Jake Browning. I, I like Peterson. I think, that, you know, they're trending up, but this is going to be a tough matchup for them. And it'll be interesting to see how healthy Browning is for this football right. game. We saw yeah. K.J. Carter-Samuels come in yeah. for him because of that shoulder injury. Peterson said after the game, though, Matt, to your point, hey, it doesn't look like it's a long-term serious issue. Nonetheless, I mean, that still could be a problem going up against the Stanford defense that traditionally going to be a tough game. <laughs> uh, it potentially could be very long for Chris Peterson and company, especially if Matt's referencing special teams and some trick plays out there <laughs> to manufacture When points. you're a major underdog, do you, what just, you, gotta you, do. you have to find a way to win football games. You got to do what you got to do. I want to see if Christian McCaffrey is going to be able to back up these performances that he continues to rack up. And, of course, for complete coverage of this football game, end of the night, Saturday night, Pac-12 Network. You don't want to miss final score. Believe me, it's must-see television. Not just because I'm hosting the show. <laughs> It's really because of Lincoln Kennedy and Nigel Burke. All right, I think that's a fair assessment. And for everything that's happening around the conference, all you have to do, follow us on Twitter at Pac-12 Networks.